Torn from the depths of my belly Calling out to me Born from the depths of my belly I invoke thee bone by bone Born from the depths of my belly Calling out to me Born from the depths of my belly I invoke thee bone by bone Born from the depths of my belly Calling out to me Born from the depths of my belly I invoke thee bone by bone whether you like it or not, um, and how we all forget sometimes, um, but it's true nonetheless.
He told a tale, a wondrous tale about them and uh, yeah you know the baker makes bread I don't know the digger digs graves <laughs> there's songs about that <laughs> Same. 
But you do it all the same But you do it all the same Surgeons like the finest of rain Clammy hand of the dead upon my shoulders This crown weighs heavy on my head Like a promise you never intended to keep But you do it all the same But you do it all the same
triggering um, and if you want to take a break there's a real nice smoke and terrace out the back so hey. <laughs> remember that time you absent-mindedly touched my rough elbow whilst looking into the middle distance and declared that soft elbows were a sign that a woman took care of herself I wonder if you knew how I folded that information inside like a delicate layer in the puff pastry of what it means to be a woman. Always keep your elbows soft. Your worth will be determined by the softness of the skin on your elbow. A creeping fear snuck in. If a man was taking note of the exact texture of your elbow skin, what else might he be judging? The length of your middle toe? The girth of your neck? Maybe the density of your eyebrows. Do you remember all those times you hugged me, grabbing at my waist, told me I felt good because I'd been working out? Or maybe that month I was softer around the middle, so you'd clutch a roll of flesh whilst talking about how you loved a woman with a tight body. How you kissed me hello and goodbye so publicly, I didn't realise I could say no. Or maybe that time I turned 14 or 15 and you gifted me lacy red knickers for my birthday, showing me that this was how a woman should dress for a man. The pastry layers stacking up. Remember that time you ran two fingers over the smooth stone pussy of the sculpture in your lounge, exclaiming how wonderful she felt. Encourage me to do the same. Was this how a woman should feel, smooth and still, waiting for a man's touch or a teenage girl's? I don't think she had a head, and definitely no arms and legs, just a torso, long and lean, perfect stony breasts and bare pussy. This was our appreciation though. What about that time you told me in detail about your girlfriend's pussy? Her just a few years older than me, almost a child herself. How you loved her smell, your face between her legs. How she'd shaved to be clean, but you told her this was ridiculous. A woman should be all woman, hair intact. I was confused. What about the smooth stone pussy? Surely, by now, I was a woman with all this secret knowledge about how to be desired. And so by the time we kissed when I was 17 or so, you in your late 50s, me sat on your lap cuddling in the affectionate way that we did. It just seemed an exciting extension of our grown-up friendship. 
If I hadn't had a boyfriend, I feel certain I would willingly have gone to bed with you. But I did, and so I left. Later on, from university, I sent you a letter explicitly detailing my sex life, mirroring the way you had many times described yours. Now, I was fully grown, and we were surely equals. Your response confused me. Mock horror. Something disdainful in your tone. You refer to it often over the years as though some embarrassing faux pas on my part, confirming over and over that a woman should be still and silent as stone, waiting to be desired. Did you think about the pastry, folding layer upon layer in that deep, dark and quiet place? Forgive him for he knows not what he does. Forgive him for he knows not what he does. Forgive him for he knows not what he does. For well, I know. I know now. And my elbows are still rough. I know. I know now. And you can fuck right off. Yay! Speaks the power of female friendship, um, and I'm lucky to have many amazing female friends in my life. And there's another amazing woman who's up next. Uh, Terry is just there. Yeah. She'll be playing shortly. I know you all know and love her, so I'm looking forward to hearing her for the first time. <laughs>
Yeah.